welcome to the Jody Murphy Instructional Series. Today you're watching the Border Terrier Pet Strip. And this is Gwen, and she's our little Border Terrier that we're going to do today. And if you're interested in hand stripping and you're a beginner and you wanted to um, get yourself a little bit accustomed to hand stripping, this is a great breed to start on. It really is a, um, it's fairly simple because there's no pattern on this breed. It, it's pretty much the coat is about, it's supposed to be left about anywhere from a quarter to a half an inch, three quarters of an inch long all over. So it, there's no really pattern lines. The only thing is the head is, is very characteristic of this breed uh, because they're supposed to have this little otter face. And so I'm going to um, show you how I capture that little look um, later on. But other than that, um, it's pretty much the same length all over. So you can do one of two things. You can either do a pet strip, like I'm going to do today, or you can clipper this breed. But when you clipper this breed, you're going to lose this color, and you're going to lose the hard texture. And um, so you can do that, but I would recommend using a longer blade, probably a 4F. I wouldn't go shorter than that, really. And <clears throat> and do a lot of carding with a stripping knife, which I'm going to show you too, uh, to pull out the dead coat and to try to keep some of the texture in. Even by carding and pulling out the undercoat, it will, it will keep some of the texture going and let, help the coat to lay down nicely for you. So, but we're going to, this, I do Gwen about every couple of months and I do a pet strip on her. And what a pet strip means is I'll, I'll strip the, the body and the head and usually what I'll do is thinning shears on the legs and the, and the neck and the throat and the rear because those are all sensitive areas, the, the throat and the rear. And so a lot of your pets can't really tolerate the stripping. And so you'll see on Gwen that her, her chest and her rear are lighter in color. And that's what happens when you cut. You actually um, cut the dark hair off and it the, the, the coat softens and it becomes lighter. So that's why uh, if you use a clipper on this breed, that's what's going to happen. They're going to get lighter and you're, you're going to lose the texture. So that's why I like to do pet strips because I think it really, um, it really helps them look like the breed they're supposed to look like. So I always explain that to a client if you're going to do a, a pet strip that it's not going to be a, a complete hand strip like they w would look if they were going into the show ring because they are pets and you don't want to put them through any uncomfortable, unpleasant um, stripping of those sensitive areas. So most people understand that and they're, they're very um, happy with the fact that their dog looks really nice and their back looks really nice and hard and dark and their heads are, are real pretty. So, so that's my version of a pet strip and I'm going to demonstrate that for you today. Okay, now when you do your color, when on these broken coats, the color is at the tip of your coat, which is why when you clipper these dogs, they lose their coat color and texture because all the color is at the tip of each strand. And when you clip it, you take off that color. So by plucking, what happens is that hair that you're plucking out is being replaced with a brand new hair and that's where you keep